In this video, we're going to have a look at the tone controls that you'll find on your amplifier. Now, this amplifier looks like a complicated beast. It's got a lot of tone controls on there, but it's actually a lot simpler than it looks. Now, this, this amp has four channels. As you see, it allows you to set up four different sounds with different levels of distortion. So you'd get clean with a little bit more distortion, a little bit more again, and then a full distortion channel. And it has two sets of tone controls to control the four channels. So quite complicated. Uh, we're just going to look for our purposes at one level of channels. So one set of, one set of controls, as it were. So first of all, then, you have the gain control. Gain, basically, to all intents and purposes, controls distortion. So if you turn it up, you get a more distorted sound. Turn it down, you get less distortion. It does have an effect on volume as well, though. So as you turn up and get more and more distortion, you may find you'll also get more volume. Volume, then, is just a volume control. It shouldn't have very much effect on the tone at all. It should really just make it louder and simple. Uh, next, on this amp, then, you have another gain and volume. That's for the, that's for the crunch channel, as you see. Um, and then you get onto the basic tone controls. Bass, middle and treble. The kind of thing you'll have on any other audio device. You know, it could be an iPod or a Hi-Fi or any other kind of guitar amp. Um, so the bass allows you to control by boosting or cutting the bottom end. The treble allows you to, to do the top end. And of course, the mid-range is for the mid. Um, some amplifiers will have additional controls on a master channel. That means these affect all of those, all those controls. So, for example, you've got a presence control that allows you to give a little extra, a little extra treble boost, regardless of how you set these up. Finally, as we come over here, this is a valve amp and has what's called a standby control. That allows you to um, basically cut the power output, um, but still keeping heat in the valves. Valves work best when they have heat in them and kept, kept powered up, as it were. Um, it also, it's also worth when you turn your amplifier on using the standby switch. Turn it on to standby, let the valves warm up, and then when you're ready to play, switch on.